Hello, hello. Okay, this is not the video I was going to film today. But, this is a video that I thought you might be interested in. You might not, and that's okay too, <laughs> but you might. So, this bit of a backstory. I was doing, um, with the giveaway, I was doing some little key rings um, to, I was making the little key rings to go in the parcels as thank yous um, to go with the glitters. Uh, and they took me a phenomenally long time, way longer than they should have took me. Um, I was having issues with the um, coating on top. Sorry, one of my lights is flicking. I'm sorry if that's irritating. Um, is that better? Could he still break on me a little there? Um, so I was having issues with the coating on the top of the little key rings. Um, and I'm going to do a video on how I made the key rings because um, a couple of people, um, family members and stuff, said, oh, those are so cute, how did you make them? And I thought, oh, perhaps people would like to see how I made them. Um, but I had an issue with the top coating. And um, I'll go through all that in the video with you. But basically, um, the um, shrink plastic that I used didn't like some of the top coatings that I tried so I did uh, find a way around it in the end and so um, the UV resin doesn't always like to stick to everything so I found a way around in the end to use my UV resin but while using my UV resin for the first time in a long time I found that I'd got a sticky layer appear on the top of the piece. And I don't normally find that with my French and UV resin, and I was a little bit puzzled. Um, and so I tried other things, and in the end I came back to my UV resin. And it took this time about four or five days, and I was so frustrated, and I'm like, no, I've, I've got to get this right. I can't send something out that I'm not proud of. I mean, they're not perfect, but I need to be pleased and proud of something before I can give it to somebody. So I came back to the resin, I thought, this, this, I'm missing something, there has to be something wrong. I don't normally get a sticky layer on top of the UV resin. I tried top coating it with the nail varnishes and things like that, I normally do, but because of the, um, the clarity of the piece, you could see the streaks with the nail varnish and I wasn't happy. Normally with some pieces you can't see so much, but because there was little faces and details, you could see the nail varnish streaks from the brushes and I wasn't happy. So I, you know, I went over and over these, but I ended up making them again and oh gosh. So then all of a sudden I thought, I didn't have this problem before. I know sometimes that as UV resin gets older, because um, I normally buy in bulk, and I thought perhaps I've had this bottle a little bit too long. Um, normally, if you have an older bottle of resin, um, and not years old, but you know, if I have a bottle of resin a couple of months old, it doesn't cure at the end of the bottle, perhaps as crisp as it would have cured at the beginning of the bottle. So I thought perhaps that's it. Um, but I was still puzzled because I've had older bottles of resin. Uh, and in fact, the Let's Resin bottle that I've got is actually really thick. Um, I've not used that resin, I've bought that resin before. And the end of the bottle is really, really thick. So obviously that's not a long lasting resin. So if you buy a, a large bottle of Let's Resin, I can't see where it is right now, um, UV resin, if you're not gonna use it up within a short space of sort of within so many months, that does go really thick at the bottom. Um, just that point in there. So then all of a sudden it hit me. I thought, I wonder if it's my lamp. Now, I used to do nails and I know that you used to replace the bulbs in the UV lamps. Now with the LED UV lamps that you have now, do they have an expiry date? They do when you sell them, they have so many hours, um, usage hours, but I don't think I've come up anywhere near those. And then I got to thinking, is it the wattage of my lamp? 
Now I would expect a really low UV lamp to be different to a high UV lamp. But then I got to thinking, in the middle, there's this muddy area. Does it really matter about the wattage of the UV lamp? It, I've seen a lot of people use their small UV lamps for most all of their resin craft. Um, but I've also seen a lot of people use the small resin lamps and complain about sticky layers. So, I got out my old faithful lamp that I've had forever. This is the one I was using. I got out my old faithful lamp that I used to use for nails and I've used for lots of UV resin videos. And I bought this one because it was more portable and it was quicker and it was easier. And this one cured her absolutely perfect. No sticky residue, no nothing. And I was so relieved, but I was puzzled because this one used to cure my French and lovely. So I got to thinking, I reckon that that's probably needs a little bit of a higher blast now. It's probably sort of getting towards the end of the bottle. So what I thought was, I'm going to do a bit of an experiment for you and you might be interested. And I'm going to, I want to see the difference that it makes to, a, to, the, to the resin. Now I can only use the resin I have, but that obviously depends on what resin you're using. And I'm not saying, you know, these are the only, I'm, I'm going to use my resins. I'm going to use, I can't even say this one, but this is the one I'm going to use. The Frenchian and this one. And you know I'm terrible at saying, at reading names. So I'm going to use two different resins and I'm going to do an experiment. With my little old trusty, now remember we did this, we used this one before when we did the experiment with all the different resins. So I'm going to test two different resins in each of these lamps and I'm going to see uh, the difference between the wattages of these lamps and to see how much difference it gives us between the sticky layers of the resin. So I've got a 6 watt lamp, a 24 watt lamp. Now this one is a 24 and a 48 so I shall use the 48 on here and then this is the new one I've just bought this is a 90. So we're going to see the difference and I'm going to do one minute test, a two minute test and a three minute test. And we're going to have a look at the sticky layer, the colour, because I know if you over cure some resins I want to see if there's any difference between the colours. Because I know some people say that if you over cure resin it can turn more yellow. I'm also going to see if we, because three minutes in a 90 watt lamp that's going to that's gonna blast the poop out of it. So I want to see, really, I mean, this should over-cure at three minutes. And I want to see if there's a difference between if it's going to, like, curl the resin. Like, so if we've got any sort of, you know, bending or curling. So that's what I'm going to be looking for. And I shall write it all down for you. And we will have a look at the end. I'll take some footage of each lamp just using, I won't bore you with the footage of putting each individual piece underneath each lamp because well that would be like watching paint dry. So I'll do some little footage and then we'll come back at the end and we'll have a look at all of mine here and we'll see what we think. And if you think it's something that you might be interested in learning and let's see together whether there's, I mean there might not be any difference and then you know then, well, we'll just sit and talk together and that's fine. <laughs> and just sit with me. <laughs> I don't mind. Um, but let's see if there's any difference. Um, yeah, and, it, and I just think that would be um, some invaluable information that that would, you know, it might be that you're going to buy a new lamp and, sorry, that's my little fur baby trying to get in. Um, she's got a little bell that she puts a little paw on to let me know she wants to come through. Um, yeah, so it might be that you're going to buy a new lamp and you don't know which one to buy because it's very overwhelming to be fair, when you're looking to buy a new lamp. You look on Amazon and there's thousands and I don't know what to choose. Um, so yeah, I'm not saying these are, you know, these are my picks or anything. This is just what I have had. Um, and this is the one that actually came in the Sophie and Toffee starter box. 
Um, the only thing I don't like about this one is it doesn't have an on-off button. The other one I had from Sophie and Toffee had an on-off button. This one doesn't. It just keeps going. I don't like that because it means I've got to pull this out in between. I don't want a UV lamp on all the time when I'm curing things. It's great, you just pull it on, but it means that I've got it on for the whole duration of the project. And apart from the fact that electricity at the moment is really expensive, um, I don't want a UV lamp blaring at me. I don't think that's healthy. So it's great if you've got a hand to keep pulling this in and out, of the, but I don't, it's, I'm sticky. I mean, if you see these, they've got resin all over them. And this is how this one's going to look eventually. Um, they've got resin all over them. So, um, yeah. So, um, these are just ones I've, I've acquired over the time. Um, so yeah, let's get on, let's have a look and see what we can come up with. Hello. Okay. I realise you're just staring at a white piece of paper with clear pieces on them. So you might actually not really be able to see very well. Oh. Um, and here comes my fur baby. Right. Okay. Now I've still got my gloves on because there is some, some of them are a little bit sticky. But I've written lots of notes for you guys. Okay, so, um, yeah, actually, the results are really good. So, I did the two bottles of resin that I showed you. Don't ask me to say what this is called. So, I used my two bottles of resin. Now, bearing in mind, we know the French is a little bit thicker. We are getting down to the last third of the bottle. 
Um, this one I haven't used as much, so the bottle hasn't been open as much, but it's still the same age as the other one, but it is not as um, thick as the Frenchin. So, to start with, the 6 watt lamp. So, we did the 1 minute, the 2 minute and the 3 minute. Now, that one doesn't have a timing function on it, so I just timed it on my iPad. So, when I pulled out the first one, now you can see there's some discoloration under these, um, a couple of them, and that's because they stuck to the paper. And that's because when I pulled this one out and this one out, they weren't cured underneath. Well, they were only about 50% cured, so they actually, because they weren't cured underneath, they really stuck to the paper because it was so sticky underneath. So they were both sticky underneath and they were both still sticky on top. Um, they were quite bendy and very clearly not cured. The two minutes, um, they were still both sticky underneath, they were still bendy, but they were slightly less sticky. So you could tell that they, um, but only slightly less. So you could tell that they weren't cured properly. And to the three minutes, they were still sticky underneath, but slightly better, um, and they were still sticky on top. Um, but I did notice that now the Frenchin um, is, I say, is slightly older. Um, all the way along, the Frenchin stays slightly tackier, longer than the um, than the other one. I've written the other one down as O W <laughs> O W because it was just easier. Um, but this one, consistently doing, um, now I had my little, um, what's it mask on, oh, I'm making, oh dear, my lights are going mad guys, um, this one has a stronger smell than the other one, so I did put my face mask on, this one has a stronger smell, I always have a window open and that anyway, but that one just smells stronger, so onto the 24 watt, now I thought I was going to instantly see a bigger difference, but the difference was not as bigger as I thought. Now, as I said before, I don't know whether each lamp is, is different. Now you get um, fantastic quality and bad quality in each lamp, so I can't tell you if you were to test two or three or four 24 watt lamps you know you'd get different results from all of them if you read the reviews on Amazon some people say that um, a different lamp you know praise certain lamps and say there's a rubbish and other people love them and it, it's all and it all depends on what resin you have you know um, or you know a lot of them using it for nail products so what nail products you have and that kind of stuff um, so with the 24 watt the for one minute as you'd expect, it was still not cured. It was still tacky on the bottom and the top. Um, but definitely cured more than the 6 watt. That we did see a difference. Um, and with both the French and, and the other one, the, uh, the OI, as we'll call it, um, both still had sticky residue on the top and the bottom, but were definitely better than the 6 watt. Um, the two minutes um, still had residue now sticky now did I say did I miss a bit guys did I say on the when I say residue all of these see I'm missing bits out now I'm tired all of these had residue every time I lifted one of the um, but, um, the, res the pieces out, they all had sticky residue underneath up until this point. So we still had sticky residue underneath um, and um, slightly better. The French and, um, still had slight sticky residue on the bottom and we did have some residue on the top. But on this one, on the OI, it was still slightly sticky on the top but there was not there was hardly any residue on the bottom so that so we are starting to see um, a clear indication now we're starting to see a better um, 
starting to see a better application here now. So then we get to three minutes and I'm starting to see they're less bendy now. Uh, I'm starting to see when we get to three minutes now they're both they're firm when I pull them out of the mould. Um, it's still slightly sticky underneath and on top for the Frenchian. Um, there's no residue on the oil underneath and they're slightly tacky on the top and the bottom. So I've got a very slight residue underneath on this one, but I haven't got any residue on this one, but it's still tacky top and bottom. So on the 24 watt lamp, I'm still finding that I have that tacky residue on the top and the bottom of the, um, of the piece. But now I've lost the residue on this one, but I've still a little bit of residue on this one. The 48 watt lamp, back to the one minute. We have, they're both still bendy. Um, sticky residue underneath on the moulds when I lift them out. And they're still sticky on the top and the bottom when I lift them out. Still got that sticky residue, or a tacky layer on both. Two minutes, let's have a look. Slight residue underneath on this one. Um, and slightly tacky on the top and the bottom, but no residue now on the bottom, on the mould on this one, but still slightly tacky on the top and the bottom. On the three minute, on the 48 watt. Now, bear in mind, this is adding mould. When you do a piece, when I do a, um, when I'm do, when I would do this, I would turn my mould over anyway. But for the purpose of this, I didn't want to turn the mould over because I wanted to see how it would cure straight through from the top if you didn't turn over your mould. If I was curing this for a piece, I would turn my mould over anyway. So I probably wouldn't wouldn't worry too much. Um, but for the testing purposes, I didn't want to turn the mould over. I just wanted to see how it would go from penetrating straight from the top. Okay, so this one, we had the very, very, very slight piece bit of residue underneath. And I mean a really small bit, but I'm being picky here for the testing purposes. But we had no sticky residue on top on this one, um, tiny bit on the bottom, and on this one, no sticky residue on the bottom and no sticky residue on the top. I'm pretty certain if that Frenchian had been new bottle, I would have had no sticky residue on top bottom either. It's only because it's an older bottle. Um, I'm pretty confident we'd have had nothing here. The 90 watt. Now, bearing in mind the 90 watt lamp that I chose is um, has got a fan in it. And the reason I chose the one with the fan is because I didn't want my resin to overheat. A 90 watt lamp is a very high wattage lamp um, and I want my, the reason I got the 90 watt is because I do a lot of um, doming on my pieces and some of the doming pieces can be quite thick and some of the resins I use can be quite thick and I wanted a lamp that I knew would get through. I would still, and one of the things I wanted to see was whether it would over cure. Um, especially for the 90 watt lamp. I'm really curious, I was really curious to see if having a 90 watt lamp blast your resin would really over cure it. So my lamp has a fan on it and the reason I picked the one with the fan is because it said that it distributes um, the heat and it has less hot spots and it is cooler um, now, as you know, UV resin gets very hot when it cures and it needs the heat to cure. So I have no doubt that this does not cure as another 90 watt lamp would do, but I didn't want it to cure as a 90 watt lamp would. I wanted it to give it that extra poke over a 48, but not quite the 90, which is why I went for that one. But the results I was actually really chuffed with. So for one minute, we had a really small bit of residue for after one minute and a really slight bit of sticky on the top and the bottom but it was so much firmer than these other ones after one minute and the others were bendy I could roll them up but this was so much firmer when it came out 
and this one no residue on the uh, uh, on the bottom at all and only a very slight tackiness on the bottom and it was really firm two minutes was again the slightest bit of residue i'm really being picky now the slightest bit this one no residue top or bottom or anything in sight at all um, and as hard as rock this one on both the french end and the oi no residue no tacky layer no nothing at all absolutely pin sharp absolutely stunning rock solid perfect now as far as let's have a look at our primary objective so comparing the sticky layers 6 24 48 90 watts does it make a difference absolutely i could not believe the difference curing your resin whether it and especially if you have buy bigger bottles of resin and you like me um, use a lot of resin but you don't want to throw away the end of your resin old resin unless it's like i mean you can see there is no difference in the color of the resins there is no yellowing no cloudiness the resins are beautifully clear and the i mean the bottle's not years old um but the you know the the bottles i buy they last me several months and i use a lot of resin but they do go thick over time and especially if you use it a lot and you've got it open to the air i'm very careful i always put the lids back on but the Frenchen, the Let's Resin has gotten so thick I can't even pour it out of the bottle. The Frenchen is a bit thicker. The Oi is the thinner of the three. So I'm actually very impressed with that resin. Over time, that has fared the best. I love my Frenchen resin, but this one has fared the best. This is um, still runny. It hasn't, it's, it's not lost any of its... Um, power at all this is still as good as the day I bought it um, but with both of them there is only a marginal difference between these two both of them good gracious me this one absolutely hands down I would never go back to using don't get me wrong if you're doing a small project and you're fixing things together and it's small and you can hold it on for a bit I will use my six watt lamp to attach things um, and if I've, you know, if I've got my, uh, it's so much easier. I mean, I can't hold this big lamp and hold things on it to fix them together and stuff like that. No, I can't. But as far as curing things and, um, you know, and getting that perfect finish, I will absolutely be using the 48 and the 90 watt, depending on what I'm doing. As you can see, the colour hasn't changed. The over curing. Now, this one this one here has got has shrunk more it's got a further dip in it has shrunk more now they didn't shrink away from the sides of the moulds but it has got a bigger dip compared to this one and this one so if you were to blast this right the, you know your resin under a 90 watt or a 48 watt because that's got a that's got a good significant dip in, I suppose. Not as much. If you were to over cure these, say five minutes or something, then yes, you definitely could over cure your resin and you would get it. Um, I'm not sure some resins warp more than others anyway. But if you were to over cure your resin, I absolutely definitely think in a higher wattage lamp, you will get um, more shrinkage, you will get warping, you will get overheating, you may actually. Um, get a bit of discoloration, but for these tests for the three minutes. I haven't had I haven't seen that at all um, I have seen a bit more shrinkage if you could call it that. Yeah, I'd say you call it shrinkage um, I had their higher lamp has given me a tiny bit more shrinkage But if I'm doming something you probably wouldn't notice that anyway I did notice that the higher wattage lamp made it smell a little bit stronger Now that might be because it's given it a good blast and it's kind of, you know, um, give it, oh, it's, perhaps it's because it's making it hotter quicker and it's like, those vapours are coming off faster. Um, but as I said, I wore my mask and um, in the end anyway, so, um, which I do if I'm, you know, if I'm using a lot of resin and things like that. So, yes, I'm, for the purpose of, 
it does matter it makes a big difference your lamp makes a huge difference anybody who's having problems with a sticky layer on top of resin it might not be your resin it might be your lamp the uv led lamps i know people who who say the uv led that makes a big difference if you're using some uv led resins only cure in a uv led lamp um, one of the things I, when we did my testing resin video if you've watched that one um, and the leaflets we bought out and it said with a, a, with a couple of the resins you must use a UV LED lamp to cure this resin hello baby girl um, and so it makes a big difference the lamp you use makes a big difference and I can't stress that enough and I've seen a clear indication today that the lamp makes a huge difference none of these ones are any good none of these are cured to a satisfactory level I would not use any of these I you would and the other thing I noticed when I was doing as I said my um, I'm sorry guys I'm waffling here but if this is information that can help you then then, then I'll waffle when I did the keychains for the giveaways, I thought, well, I'll just cure it for longer. I'll just leave it under there for longer and it'll cure. No, no, it didn't. I left it under there for six minutes and I still had a sticky layer. It made no difference. That sticky layer would not go. When I got out my 48 watt lamp, I did it for four minutes and it was stunning and it would not go that sticky layer with the 24 watt lamp no matter what I did um, 48 watt lamp beautiful crystal wonderful and I was so relieved because I wanted those to look good um, so yeah absolutely guys it makes a big difference so go out and get yourself a good lamp if you are finding that you are having problems with the sticky layer find yourself a good lamp I'm not saying go out and buy a 90 watt uh, this one is probably um, a 70 watt um, with with the fan in it. It's probably that effect of a 70 watt. But I won't go back now. I will not go back to a lower lamp. Um, get yourself a good lamp. Have a look. At, I mean, the, I was like my head exploded, you know, when I was looking at things. But get yourself a good lamp. Um, have a look on what wherever they they sell them all over the place. Um, and um, yeah, get yourself a good lamp have a look at the, the the resins there's so many different resins and I'm sure there are resins that don't give you a sticky layer you know um, but from my experience the lamp is absolute must right guys I hope I've been helpful I really really do and I hope I haven't waffled too much and if you are still here at the end of this video you are ace you are fabulous please like and subscribe it means the world to me and it shows me that I am on the right tracks and you are enjoying my content and I am, you know, I'm worthwhile doing this for you. Please take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.